Hey, welcome to How to Fix a Workshop. My name is Josh, and in this video, I'm going to replace the blade brake cable in my Toro Time Master 30 inch lawnmower. So, the last time I was cutting the grass, I had paused for a moment to move some sticks out of the way, let my hand off of the blade brake, move the sticks, came back, pulled the blade and gauge back like this, and it snapped. And this wire looks like it must have been, I don't know, corroded um, for whatever reason, but it's like frayed at the bottom. So I got online, shopped around, tried to find this part, which was a little difficult to find. It wasn't available at the time on Amazon. It was out of stock. Hopefully this is the correct part. I was able to find it on eBay. Uh, but there's three cables here, and you just kind of have to trace, trace that down through here and I realized that that cable runs along here on the other side of the deck and then it goes into this slot here so in order to figure out what's going on underneath here and where it connects and how to replace it I started removing these screws there's four of these screws or bolts that I removed from the three, three eighths inch socket and so now I'm going to open that up so here's what's going on underneath that that uh, deck cover. We got a huge pile of old grass and junk built up under here. So I'm gonna clean this out of the way and then figure out where to go next. So I started cleaning out the inside of the mower deck here. And as you can see, the mower is now on its side because I wasn't sure exactly how to get to this, to this cable spring that goes under here and attaches it's really hard to get a good visual of it, but it's, it is right up under here where this, where this spring attaches. I couldn't figure out how to get to it from the top of the mower. So just to make sure that I had the right parts, I pulled, uh, I opened up the package that I had and realized there's some really good instructions in here. And this is the, it's an actual Toro brand uh, part that I got, BBC Arm Service Kit. For the Time Master 30 inch lawnmower. And whenever I started thumbing through the instructions here, I realized that they say the best way to get to it is by turning the mower on its side and then reaching underneath and removing the transmission belt and transmission tension cable or tension spring. I don't know exactly what the tension spring is. I'm guessing it's this one right here, which is a little bit hard to get to. I did remove the belt. And so the transmission kind of spun sideways. I hope I can get that belt back on. But this, here, here's the brake cable, it broke. And I don't know why I would need to replace this entire part because it seems like it's all still intact. It was just the, the actual cable that broke. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that out now. This is the other end of it. And yeah, it's like all frayed and black there. I don't know why just this one area here got so bad. I guess it was wet. So the nice thing is now with this opened up and kind of getting an idea of where I need to go with the new, with this new spring, I can just kind of fish it through here and I'm on the top of the mower deck now with the mower still on its side. And I'm just gonna set this through here and get it from the underside and just leave the old, the old cable here for now because I'm gonna run it through back up into the, the handle. It's really hard to get a good angle in here, but basically what I'm going to try to do is take this the spring here, and there's a hole here. I'm going to just take it up there to the, to the other loop and try to get it to snap back in place where I took the old one off. Alright, I was fighting with that forever because I was trying to get this spring here to open up enough to get it to go over this, this loop. But it turns out that all I have to do is kind of feed it in from the end over here, just like this, just like that. So now I think I can put the belt back on and flip the mower over. Getting that belt back on was not an easy task, but what I had to do is take a piece of wood and wedge it in here and press that, uh, I guess this is like the transmission, press that so it would rock and tilt this way. 
I think I'm supposed to, you're supposed to remove this spring here, but I couldn't quite figure out how to do it, and I was afraid to take too many things apart. But that worked. I just needed two hands to do it, so I pushed this so that it tilted that way and was able to get get this belt around this pulley. So now it's time to turn it over and see if I can get that cable fish through the front of the deck and then up to the handle. This first spot here, closest to the spring, looks like it's got some kind of tension on it. So we want this cable sleeve not to move. So I put a little mark on the new one right there with a the Sharpie so that I know that the front of that sleeve needs to stop about right here. The rest of it should be pretty straightforward. It looks like there's another spot here where that cable feeds through, but there's no tension on that one. And then it just comes around the corner here and there's a zip tie, which the new kit has extra zip ties in it. So I cut that loose and then feed it up through here. And it looks like I'll either have to take this little, this little clip off or maybe feed it through there. And then it comes up here where it looks like there might be another zip tie holding everything together. And then up here, hopefully we can feed it through this hole. And then it supports into the handle here so that it might get a little tricky once we get up here. All right, I was able to remove that 3 8 inch screw right there and run the new cable underneath. And then it feeds along right here. I removed that zip tie that was right here holding these three cables together. And in this next spot here, it's just a little hole in the, in the handle. That's where this piece fits in. So I just need to feed all of the cables through here and then it inserts back into the hole like that. And there's a spot for all those cables to ride. The next spot up the handle here has the shutoff control on it. It looks like it's screwed on by this, by this star nut here. I'm just gonna back that off. And that actually looks like it has some tension too. So I'm gonna put a mark on the cable here so I kind of know where to align the next one. All right, we got it all back together. Some of that I wasn't able to film. This part here goes into the handle. It has to pop in uh, kind of standing up first and then roll down so that it locks in place and it won't back out. And then the cable here, just have to pop off this little cap. And I use a pair of pliers to do that. And then just use the hammer to hammer it back on after I put the new cable in. And one thing that happened to me as I was putting it all back together is the tension on this cable slipped, which is what controls your, your variable speed as you're walking. And so there wasn't any tension on this handle. And I just had to move that back into place and tighten that back down. So now we got it all back together with the handle. And the only thing left to do is to put the cover back on the front here. So I got the cover back in place, and one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning was that I disconnected the spark plug for safety, so I'm gonna plug that back in. And then I did just use a couple of those zip ties to hold all of the cables together in a couple extra spots. It should be ready to start. I'm gonna take it outside and make sure that it starts and make sure everything works properly. I have to admit that this was kind of a pain in the butt even with the instructions that I got. I, I have the extra part here that goes underneath. I don't know why I would necessarily have to replace that, but I guess because it has this um, this blade break here, which I don't think mine is is worn out. I haven't had any problems with it there. It's just the cable broke. Um, so I'm gonna hang on to that part. Hopefully this one will last longer. I've only had this motor for about three years, but I guess enough moisture got down into the line here because it seems like it was right into this bend right here where the cable broke. So maybe moisture or whatever over time from me washing it off got down in here and hopefully none of these other cables end up breaking on me. I'm gonna try to avoid spraying too much water up in this area of the handle from now on and just concentrate down here. And hopefully I can do a better job than what I have been with this mess of dirt and debris that's coming off. So let me get it outside and I'll try to start it up and make sure the blades work. One last thing before I fire this beast up, let me know if I made any mistakes or if there was anything that wasn't very clear in this video. I may have called some things the wrong parts and made some shortcuts that I shouldn't have. Hopefully I was safe about doing it and hopefully this helps out somebody else because this is a pretty expensive one more and for a part like that to wear out after just a couple years is unfortunate. I imagine taking it to a, a, a dealership would cost quite a bit. The part alone was like $30 so I would imagine it's probably like a $200 repair plus the hassle of taking it to a, a shop. It wasn't super simple but it was doable. And now I'm going to go ahead and start it up and make sure those blades engage.